hilarious than the Pulitzer Prize play that convulsed the nation for two solid years on Broadway and was a riotous success across the country. Take my word for it, Mrs. Matthews. Your husband's a pretty big man. Oh, there's no argument about that. I know he's a big man. You know he's a big man. My bad days are when he knows he's a big man. Now, hang it all. Look here, Mary. I'm not going to have you do this. You wouldn't get one wink of sleep down there on the floor, and I wouldn't sleep lying up here worrying about you. Good night. Funny world. I want you to be president, so I go back to New York, and you tour the country with your wife. Politics makes strange bedfellows. Another thing, he always hated to hear me swear. Whenever I let go with something, he used to smack me on my sitter hard. I've done a lot of swearing on this trip. And no smacks? It's a small request. But I'd give anything for one good smack on the south end. Don't let Kay take your place now. You love Frank Matthews. That big mug is your whole life. You know you love him. But if you don't get in there now, this instant, you're going to lose him. You and your mad ambition, catering to his conceit, dealing and double dealing. You were going to make a big man of him, weren't you, Kay? You couldn't see that he was a big man. Well, you've killed him. You've killed Grant Matthews. And he's a party to his own murder. Well, I won't. 